What is up guys, Pie Muffin here, and we are back with our SAO Unleash Blading video. So, I was not expecting uh, to really make a video today because I was, I really thought after the anniversary they were probably going to take a week off. Even though it is dangerously close to like Christmas time and it's the holidays, I wasn't sure if we were going to be getting anything, but we did get a data download, so I do think that there is going to be something here waiting for us. Um... So let's just see what it's going to be. Let's take a look. Um, it doesn't... Oh. Is that Quinella? Memories in the Snowy. Huh. Uh... Not who I was expecting to see, and it's not limited. You can see down here, there's nothing that says limited. So I guess they're maybe actually going to start giving us, you know, regular seasonals that aren't just limited. So this is really cool. Cool. Okay, her partner is Alice, so there are quite a number of Earth Alices that you can use with her. So that's a that's not a horrible thing. We knew it was gonna. It, we figured it would be Earth anyway because it's the we're still in the Earth element of stuff. So. Uh, pretty cool. Quinella. Alright, Rapier Unit. Let's take a look at her stats. Oh my gosh. 7,620 HP, so very, very tanky. Uh, 2420 attack. Uh, 1400 defense, so very defense heavy. Um, yeah, she's a very defense heavy unit. Okay, and her, her incarnate is pretty normal. Uh, she does get the, uh, break stack, which is nice. But let's see what her skills actually do. What's her enhance? I'm curious about... Okay, so raise his own attack. And then physical resistance. Yeah, so she makes herself stronger and she raises her own defense. She's meant to be a tank. Cast counter when the character... Okay, so it literally in Tokyo, but a Quinella Earth version of it. Okay. Her break is... Okay, thrust attack strong and single enemy recovers HP weak of all allies. The card break 50%. I like that extra heal there. Uh, impalement. Thrust attack extra strong on single enemy. Inflicts provoke for three turns. Uh, so, yeah, literally she's just an Earth version of Intokia with a uh, Christmas costume. So that's pretty cool. I like this. Um, she may not be the first or might, might not be the only Christmas unit we get either. Um, we still don't know when the collab is starting, so we could very well get two Christmas units. We could get one now, and then get one before the 31st. Um, and then maybe the collab starts sometime in January. Um, okay. We already talked about our incarnate skill. It's very simple. Uh, it's just a super strong attack. Imaginarium increases break. Uh, she's not limited, so that's why she just has a normal, uh, Imaginarium. So if you do pull her, you can exchange for at least two of her Imaginariums in the shop. Um, special partner Alice. We'll go over what Earth Alice is we have to work with. And then her, she increases attack for her leader skills. So pretty cool there. Uh, is there an event that's coming with her? Scroll down a bit and see what we got. Ultimate Battle. I think this is the new... Um, event that they were kind of talking about so we'll go over that in a second i'm just seeing if there's anything else besides that it doesn't look like it, it looks like this is pretty well we'll talk about the 3.1 stuff as well but let's look at this new event so this is the new event ultimate battle even harder battles have arrived ultimate battle is a high difficulty level clearing event where characters partake in successive quests power up your character and clear high difficulty quests uh, so that's pretty cool there. You can get up to 250 diamonds if you can clear everything, which, you know, it's going to be hard. This event is going for, like, half a month, so that's pretty cool. Multi-stage that consists of up to three bosses on each stage. Okay, so you fight all three of them. Uh, every stage boss that the player takes down in the ultimate battle will award awesome rewards. Okay, so even if you don't beat all three, you're still going to get rewards for what you clear, is what it sounds like. Okay, in Ultimate Battle, the characters and weapons equipped when battling a boss cannot be edited on the same stage. Okay, so you have to keep going until you pretty much fail and then start over. So it's kind of like Cathedral, except you're just using one team until you pretty much fail is what it looks like. Power up your characters and form a group 
that can stand against stand a chance against these stages. That's gonna be the hard thing too, is I'm sure these bosses aren't always gonna be the same color. So you might actually have to make a multicolor team at some point. Um, okay, and then there's gonna be bonuses. We'll go over that more when it actually drops. It drops tomorrow, right? Yeah, it drops tomorrow with the new banner, so that'll be interesting there. And then they're adding a update to the stay button. Players will be able to select up to three turns later when holding the stay button. Oh, okay, so you'll be able to choose kind of where you want your character to be put, so that's pretty cool. But besides that, I think that's pretty much it. Uh, I'm sure there's going to be a new home screen like purchase thing with Queenella, probably something Christmas related, so I guess we'll look at that when we do the stage. I haven't decided if I'm going to summon. I think most likely not because she isn't limited, so there will always be an opportunity to grab her later. Um, until I know when the collab is, I really just don't want to be jumping into a brand new banner. But uh, we'll see what happens. I've always changed my mind before. But let me know what you guys think down below. Uh, this is pretty exciting that we're going back to seasonal characters, not all being limited. Um, there was one other thing that was pointed out to me beforehand. Um, I didn't know what the banner was going to be, but I was told that there was going to be a reveal tonight. Um, you'll notice that it's not guaranteed on step seven anymore. Um, and I think that's just going to be saved for limited banners. So that way you're not walking away with nothing on a limited banner. But I think normal banners like this, uh, that'll eventually be added to the general pool. It's still going to be up to you whether you get it or not. So step five and seven are 50% chance to be this Quinella. Um, and you'll just kind of have to, uh, go with that. And everything else seems like it's going to be the same stuff of what we had. Um... Step eight. Oh, and it doesn't. It also doesn't have the, uh, you know, on step eight and above. It's not going to be a guaranteed care. It's not guaranteed new character. It's just uh, normal stuff with increased rates. So uh, yeah, for the most part, I would say probably skip this, especially if you went crazy during the anniversary. I know it's very enticing. A uh, you know a seasonal Quinella. All the other Quinellas we've pretty much had up to this point have been just normal her normal versions um but you know everyone can summon what they want to i mean she's definitely a solid unit for earth if you're looking for something very defensive to kind of take hits for you she is a great utility unit um but of course if you're someone who's more of in the collection aspect it might be better to wait for this collab to start because i'm sure all the collab units are going to be limited since it's you know a collab but that's going to be it, guys. Thank you all for watching. Let me know what you guys think down below. Don't forget to subscribe more if you're new to the channel. I'll see you all next time. Have a wonderful day, everyone.